Hey, good morning, guys. It is the day after 4th of July, and I am out here soldering up a license plate guitar. A couple things I want to tell you. The background music is R.L. Boyce, live from the Circle Bar. You want to get that one. R.L. Boyce, live from the Circle Bar. I will give you a link down below. Make sure you click on that. But this guitar here is going to the R.L. Boyce picnic in North Mississippi in mid-August. So it's going to be raffled off there and um, you might have a chance to win it if you're down there. So get down there. If you leave now, you should make it in plenty of time. So I'm actually going to use this opening for two episodes. One of them is going to be a long how to build one of these start to finish so that way the people who are looking at it and deciding whether or not to buy a raffle ticket can get the QR code on their phone and look at it. The person who gets it can kind of take a look at how one of these is built and how this one is built. Uh, but but the, the other episode is going to be a short one where I run through this in a few minutes once it's done and show you all the features and what they mean um, and then play a little bit at the end before I put it in the mail. Now, a couple of things I want to share with you. Um, first off, you can never have too much shrink wrap. Do not covet my shrink wrap pile here. Um, and you see this clamp? These clamps work out pretty well for something that I've discovered besides gluing fingerboards and stuff up. And that's you can put this on here like so and um, hold your soldering work pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and get on soldering this up. Oops, rented lifts. You always want to remember you got this sponge that's wet. And um, we'll get to work here. Almost forgot to tell you, this most awesome soldering iron I've seen. It's got a temperature control. It has a light to tell you when it's up to temperature. There it is. Tassie Home Soul Rep 2000. I'll try to remember to give you a link below. All right, I'm going to rotate it around. Get that one, see how easy that one is. Got my piece of shrink wrap on here. Yeah, want to make sure I got that right there. Not up too close where it gets burnt, but or melted by the soldering iron heat. But anyway, I'm going to get this thing done, and then we'll catch up at the end, see in a few. All right, guys, there's a lot of smoke rolling in off of a, a fire, brush fire to the west and south of us a little bit the smoke's blowing in here but it's not going to stop us lots of helicopters and the like and tankers flying over but if that you hear that that's what it is so i'm wrapping up this guitar here and we just put the side fret markers on and i'm sanding those down and then we're going to be able to put it on the rack and kind of show you what it's all about and once that's done I will fire up an amp and we'll see what it sounds like before we send it off again that background music is RL Boyce live at the circle bar and again I'm going to give you a link down below there we go we're done all right then it's on the stand here we started off with a Mississippi church bus license plate my friend amy verdon helped me pick that one out of course we got a tailpiece out of that church up uh in echo park above echo park there the pentecostal church up there we took a box a sawyer kit box and aged it and uh put this church bus plate on it now it's got a floating bridge it's got a humbucker a black humbucker i did all the trim in black you can see um all that down there it's black and um, going up the neck we've got a lot of different Mississippi matchbooks oh that little cross right there hanging on the third string we didn't want to do an Eli Green so I got that at a rock mineral shop about an eighth of a mile from uh, Reuben Lacey's church in Ridgecrest and then got the map of Mississippi with Holly Springs in the middle there and the Route 61 badge up there. So um, that's the front of it. Let's flip it back around. 
Yeah, that background music now is uh, R.L. Boyce. I'm a child of God again off of live at the Circle Bar. But we've got a map of Mississippi here. Hey, deck screw hater, just for you, Padna. Anyway, we doweled uh, the heel board. Also, uh, the scarf joint up there. Tammy signed it again. We used black um, tuners and black trim on this thing. Um, there is... A buffalo nickel there it's got its own story and there's a piece of wood uh, from a tree on Fred McDowell's property where both Alan Lomax and George Mitchell recorded him so uh, that's it let's get it hooked up to an amp and see what it does and um, see you there in a minute all right guys we're here at the amp uh, before I mask her sound with this thing because I don't know how to play uh, that's why I make them because you do and you need to win this uh, anyway a little bit about R.L. Boyce R.L. Boyce is a fixture of North Mississippi Hill Country Blues he was around as a young man when some of the old men who had learned from generations of those before them were around um, he was drumming for Jesse May uh, Hemp Hill on one of her early albums. Uh, look it up in the liner notes. You're gonna see his name everywhere. He's got associations with Otha Turner and that family. Um, knew Fred McDowell personally and all that kind of stuff. So he is one of the best people around down there. You can't beat the guy, his music is awesome. If you were a study of the North Mississippi Hill Country Blues uh, that are electrified, you wanna pick up a couple of his albums. In fact, I got one He's got a couple of his songs right here, 50 Years of Como, Mississippi Blues. He's got a couple of songs on here. I'm going to try to remember to give you a link below. 50 Years of Como, Mississippi Blues. Anyways, a fixture of Como, Mississippi and North Mississippi Hill Country Blues. I'm sending this down to the R.L. Boys Picnic because we want to support this uh, guy. And uh, they'll put it in the raffle and you'll have a chance to win it. So... You can drive down to Mississippi. Uh, it's early in January. You might be able to walk there. You can get a bike, get an e-bike, take a Greyhound, do whatever it is you got to do to get there, and then you get a raffle ticket, and maybe you'll win this. And uh, when you do, hopefully you can play way better than me, and then you can show me how to play it. But we're going to turn up the amp here. I got a Fender uh, 90 Deluxe over here, and. It's loud, it ain't good, but it's loud with me playing it. So let's um, see if this thing will make any noise. forget uh, give me a like subscribe below and check out RL boys check out his music I'm gonna give you a link below and uh, I will see you next time